Hello, I am Marcel Kadiev, here to quickly show you how to make a basic external script for 3D Studio Max using Max.net wrapper from Affair. You can get the wrapper and sample files for this tutorial on Affair's website. I am going to be using 3D Studio Max 2010 and Visual Studio 2008. The script we are going to write will be in the form of an executable file that will do something within the currently running instance of Max. Specifically, we are going to create a renaming tool that will go through a scene and rename all the nodes inside of it based on their place within their hierarchy. This will demonstrate the remoting capabilities of Max.net and hopefully will give you an idea of what's possible to do with it outside of Max. Let's begin by loading 3D Studio Max and enabling the remoting capabilities of the .NET wrapper, which are turned off by default. Once Max is loaded, go to the Utilities tab. Click More and select the Max.NET option. Check the Allow Remoting checkbox. You may also set the remoting port to an available port on your system, although for this tutorial we will use the default setting. Now close Max. Open Visual Studio and choose to create a new project. Select Console Application for project type because we are creating an executable and not a pluggable assembly. I am going to name my project External Script and hit OK. Once the project is created, let us reference the interfaces.dll assembly from within 3D Studio Max's root folder. This assembly is the main part of Max.NET wrapper and provides us access to Max's SDK. First, let's import the Autodesk.max namespace, where all of the Max's interfaces are located. Now by adding a single line of code, we can have full access to an instance of 3D Studio Max's SDK. Here we specify that we want to get a remoting interface to Max from a local TCP host. By enabling remoting in Max earlier, we made it enable this hosting capability. We will make sure that everything is working correctly by writing out the current number of scene objects using the basic console output. Let's test this by going back and opening Max. then creating some objects in it building the project and executing it great everything seems to work thus far let's write something more useful The renaming algorithm itself is pretty simple for this tutorial's sake. We create a recursive function which takes a prefix string and a parent node. We then loop through all the children nodes of a parent and add the specified prefix to their names. This goes on for all nodes in the node hierarchy.
Let's go back to Max and create a simple node hierarchy by linking some nodes. Now let's test the code again by running it. When it completes, we can go back to Max and see that nodes were renamed. Great! Now by running this executable on a computer with Max, you can rename all the current C nodes. The great part is that because all remoting procedures run through a TCP stack, you can execute this code on a different computer or even through internet and have it access any Max instance anywhere. Thank you for listening.